Welcome back to Freedom Forest and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how our various varieties of melons, sweet potatoes, tomatoes and much more are doing in our freshly made no-dig polytunnel. If you didn't already see the video of me making the no dig beds in this tunnel, it's well worth checking that out. If you have already seen it, the first thing you might be wondering is how is the weed situation? Because previous to this we were just had bare soil in here which was covered in a multitude of different perennial weeds. And quite amazingly, to my surprise, we've had literally hardly nothing grow back. We have had the odd bits of bramble, stinging nettle and a bit of bindweed showing its head through but it has been very easy just wandering around and as it's appeared just pulling it out by hand and over time I think this should do the job in weakening and eventually killing off these weeds. Where I've been spot watering the plants I have put in I think this has helped to weaken any weeds that may have grown in the past for example that aren't getting any moisture. I purchased a roll of baling twine to make the support strings for our plants. For our melons I decided I would prune these to four main stems. So I cut four lengths of baling twine and tied these in a knot in the bottom which got planted into the holes with the melons. And in terms of the plants, everything seems to be doing very well with very little signs of any obvious nutritional deficiencies or any other soil related problems. We've grown four different varieties of melons in here this year, including Pocket Melon, Minnesota Midget, D. Charentes, and Watermelon. Since planting these from modules, I've pruned them to four main stems and given them a helping hand to climb their support strings. And we're now starting to get our first melons forming. The watermelons are slightly behind the other varieties of melons, possibly indicating that they're an even more hot loving species. But I absolutely love the foliage on these. The leaves are so tropical looking and stunning. The four different varieties of sweet potatoes are also doing great. And they're slightly ahead of the outdoor planted ones, which is no surprise considering they do love tropical conditions. And I do have a couple of our T65 variety of sweet potato climbing up supports to encourage flowering because I would love to collect some true seed from these. Our tomatoes are a bush type and they're a variety called Reason Troop. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. And they were actually a later sowing that Laurie did. And they're slightly behind our main ones, but they're starting to look good and I've been working my way through these as they've been growing to remove any side shoots and any new shoots coming from the bases. And also giving them a helping hand by wrapping our support string around the stems as they grow up. This is the first year we've grown yard long cucumbers and I'm very excited because we start to have our first one set in fruit. The marigolds are looking stunning and I also love the scent they give off. And one of the reasons for planting them in here also is as a companion plant to the tomatoes. I also decided to plant five Cape gooseberries in here which are a perennial relative of tomatoes. They're absolutely delicious in a salad and the fruits are encased in an amazing balloon-like structure. And the best part about them is they're just as easy as tomatoes to start off from seed. But do be warned, the plants I planted outside last year unfortunately didn't make it through winter, only the ones in our polytunnels. And finally, our asparagus beans, or yard-long beans as they're often known, are also doing really well. 
I've trained them so far to a single stem and very much looking forward to when they start to flower. Well guys, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, I do appreciate your interest in seeing what we're growing on here at Fruit and Forest. It's always a pleasure to have you on board. And I'm quite happy with how things are going in here. But also, if you've got any ideas of anything cool that me and Laurie could try growing in here next season, perhaps something a bit more weird and wonderful or tropical, do let us know. Well, it looks like there's a massive thunderstorm coming in here now. It was just a big bit of lightning I saw in the background. So I'm going to get on with my watering and I look forward to seeing you next time. Peace and plants.